This is a perspective infomercial. You know that not only because of the animated background and fancy text choice, but also because of my emphatic and overtly masculine voice inducing you in this matter. I will introduce to you a product I know very little about and have never used properly, but I will speak to you as though I am an expert because I desperately need this paycheck to pay for my stepdaughter's second divorce. And as per studio standards, I will address a naively biased opinion that explains why you should consider the product I'm about to advertise, as opposed to a human and objective opinion that considers the many horrible things that could go wrong with this product. This product is money. See a new shirt you want to buy? A concert you'd like to attend? A meal you need to survive? Well, dream no further, because with money, you can have these things and more. I mean, healthcare and higher education are not included in that list, but no one thing is universally perfect. Think about all the places you could visit, all the car mileage you could be wasting. I mean, you might not be able to afford sufficient gas and a sustainable vehicle, but other than that, you can travel anywhere you like. Tired of stock markets crashing just when you think you have a shot at success? Well, all I have to say there is tough luck. But allow me to share with you a meaningful anecdote of my own experiences with this product. And maybe, maybe one day, we can cry together. I was once at a market, sharing with an acquaintance of mine a meal I had prepared involving a jackfruit and three versions of fermented barley. During this exchange, my acquaintance noted the eloquent design of my 100% cotton sweater, a notoriously cheap option that wears out when you eat too many frosted animal crackers. I thanked this individual for such a compliment, but said individual used my gratefulness as an opportunity to express his or her stepdaughter's newfound love interest. The two met online, deciding that they would meet, seeing as though their bios looked remarkably similar. Upon meeting, it appeared to be love at first sight. His jawline was up to her standards, and her eyebrows were on fleek. They engaged in a conversation, and that's the last time my acquaintance heard from her. I kindly disregarded my acquaintance's bittersweet feelings, subtly noticing the difference in prices between the organic vegetables and the supposed regular vegetables, which I put in quotes to make more evident my concern. My partner agreed with an opinion I had not yet shared, to which I pointed out an individual who was purchasing three bushels of corn. Flakes. I approached this individual, we'll call her Monique, inquiring the intended use of such extravagant portion sizes. But as my original acquaintance followed closely behind, Monique made dissonant eye contact with my acquaintance. As it turned out, the two were involved in a lawsuit regarding manslaughter. Because of my association between these individuals, I became suspected as an apprentice. Therefore, the money I devoted to therapeutic homemade meals had gone to a lawyer because I needed someone to help me cover my tracks. Hopefully now you can see just how money can help you. Call today and we'll send you information regarding our newest lottery, the Jack Squat Jackpot, representative of the inevitable. For just one dollar, you could potentially have a chance to live in luxury. We'll even send you an unsolicited brochure of the hotspots in Vegas to motivate you. You'll never have to worry about hiring a lawyer again. Call right now and we'll send you two brochures.